Shelly, are you awake? Shelly, Shelly, the bus is gonna be here in 20 minutes. Are you hearing me, Shelly? It's like this every morning. Shelly, get up. Every single morning. Shelly. That, and then. I'll never amount to anything if you don't change your ways. And? Am I gonna have to come up there? No, Ma, I'll get up. <laughs> every morning. Every morning, the same thing. Who would wanna get up just to hear someone yelling at them? Why can't mothers be more pleasant? <laughs> once, just once, I'd like to start the day with something like... Sweetheart, darling, a wonder child of the universe. I like that one. <laughs> Honey, I know you were sleeping soundly, and I know you need your sleep, but I only want the best for you, and I fixed your favorite re breakfast, and I have all your clothes laid out neatly as soon as you're ready. See, now what we wrong with that? Instead, I get, you want to lie in bed all day, then start paying rent, you bum. Now get out of here. <laughs> See what I mean? Surely not all mothers have been like this. I mean, the famous people in history, surely they didn't have to put up with us. George. Oh, Georgie. Yes, Mama? It's time to rise and shine, sweetheart. But I'm tired, Mama. Oh, poor darling. I know you're tired. But what will all the other children think when little Georgie Washington doesn't show up to play this morning? Honey, if you're going to grow up to be the father of your country, you really should get out of bed. It's much easier being president standing up. Is it cold out this morning, Mama? Yes, darling. You have to make that long trip across the Delaware, so you should get an early start. Now come on down to the kitchen where Mama's got some hot porridge waiting for you. Thank you, Mama. I'll go get some firewood out from the yard. Somebody chopped down the cherry tree last night. <laughs> See? Instead, I get. You want me to get the water? I swear I'll drown you with a glass of cold water. You don't get up right now. <laughs> and so it goes. I guess I'll never be president. Got the wrong mother. Shelly! Yes, Mom? Why can't mothers be more, I don't know, gentle? Poetic? Hark! What's lice through yonder window breaks? It is the sun, my daughter. Mother dearest. Yes, O oh gentle daughter of mine. Must I rise so soon? Seems it was only moments ago when I first lay my tender head upon yon downy pillow. Ah, <laughs> how times does fly, my young heroine, when dreams are sweet. Doth I smell pancakes? Ah, a pancake by any other name would smell a wheat. It must smell as sweet. Arise, my daughter. A robe, a robe, my kingdom for a robe. Until we meet below, dearest daughter, adieu. Again, I say adieu. Adieu, dearest mother. And again, I say I'm going to come up there and dump that bed on top of you. <laughs> Don't get up right now. <laughs> Alas, bummer. Same old thing. I mean, just day after day, the same routine. If I just had something exciting to wake up to. If I just had some, I don't know, mystery. Daughter. Mother. Daughter. Daughter. Mother. Mother. It was a dark and stormy night last night. I know. I lay awake in fear all evening. She had that look in her eyes. I could tell something big. Something really big was coming. What's happening, Ma? How could I tell her? Her father was lost in a blizzard. The first floor of her house had been blown away in a tornado. The family dog was starting to act very peculiar. Oh, nothing. Ma, is there something you're hiding from me? I never hide anything from you, kid. But I was lying. Her uncle left her a cool two million, and I didn't tell her. I hid it in the bathtub. She never takes a bath. <laughs> there was something in the way she held that bar of soap. Something in the way she acted. I couldn't quite put my finger on it. Well, I guess I'll go take my bath. No, don't touch that faucet. But Ma, I gotta go to school. Stay right there. I'll call you in sick. No, excuse me. I've gotta go clean the bathtub. <sighs> Instead, I get. You want me? You want me to tell your father? Just wait until I tell him. I thought he was lost in the blizzard. Gosh, you'd think the whole world depended on me getting up in the morning. Heck, if I ruled the world, I could just sleep. Napoleon. Oui, mama. Bonjour. Mon ami. <laughs> it's time to awaken. <laughs> but mama, it's so early. Oh, mon sweetheart, but you must arise and conquer Switzerland today. <laughs> but mama, yesterday I rose and took control of Italy and Germany, and it made me so very tired. <laughs> <laughs> mon sweetheart, perhaps a bite of crepes, Suzette, will make you a little French art. Go but. Bon appetit. Merci, Mama, si vous plaît. Perhaps some French talk before I march into Russia? Oh, oui, oui, oui. All the way home. But instead I get... This is your last chance, Shelly. I'm warning you. You want to see me angry? I'll show you what angry looks like. You've never seen me angry. Now get out of bed. <laughs> oui, oui, Mama. I was born in the wrong time. Too many obligations. Things to do. I wish life was simpler. Back in the old days. Daughter? Yeah, Ma. It's the best time you'd be getting up out of bed, daughter. Is it morning already, Ma? Yep, I already fed the cows and off the chickens. Already? <laughs> yep, and the chickens wasn't none too happy about it. It was up all night fighting off the ranchers. The ranchers? <laughs> yep, they shot your daddy, burnt down the corn crop, and made the dog mighty nervous. Oh, no, Ma, not the dog. Yep, he got mad and <laughs> ran off with your baby sister. Darren, I was just getting used to her. 
Well, she was just a little thing. The dog hadn't got her. Coyotes wanted to drug her off. So, you reckon you ought to be getting up out of bed? It's nearly sun up. I suppose so, Ma. I'll go take my bath. Make it quick. The tub on the back porch froze over last night. Good. I'll just slide along the top. <laughs> Dang it. It seems so much simpler back then. Are you up yet? Yes, Mom. Are you lying to me? <laughs> yes, Mom. Shelly! Yes, Mom! There has to be a better way to get up in the morning. Hey, get up, you lazy bum. I slept two hours beyond the sun. Throw back those covers, shake a leg. You're gonna miss your ham and eggs. I say get up and do it now. Ain't gonna wait on you anyhow. Don't like my rapping, that's too bad. I'm gonna wrap this around your sleeping head. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, mom, oh, mom, I hear your voice, but getting up early, that ain't too nice. Oh, let me sleep, I plead, I beg, you can keep your dog on ham and eggs. Oh, let me snooze, oh, let me snore, and please don't yell at me anymore. Don't want to go to school today, let's just pretend it's Saturday. <laughs> it never turns out that way. You want trouble, Shelly? I'll give you trouble. Now get out of bed. My mom is getting to be a royal pain. I mean it, a royal a royal. Yeah, that's what I need. Something more royal. Yeah. Your Highness. Yes, dearest Mumsy. The dawn is breaking over your kingdom, and your people are waiting down below to give you a royal morning cheer. I should go greet them, Mumsy. Perhaps your Highness would like to put on some clothes first. Oh, how silly of me. A queen needs her gown. Your royal servants are drawing your royal bath, and the royal chefs are preparing a breakfast of caviar, truffles, foie gras, and peacock tongues. Oh, how yummy, Mummy. Mm -hmm. Or your tummy, honey. It's so delightful being clean. I arise when I want, I eat what I wish, and I go anywhere my fancy takes me. Oh, the joy, the joy. You want joy, I'll give you joy. How about the joy of not being thrown out of your bed if you don't get up right now? The school bus is coming down the street. Mom, come in here. Yes, Shelly? Mom, can we talk? Sure. Mom, I've looked at this whole getting up problem from a few different angles now, and I think if we just sat down and discuss this calmly, we could come to some sort of an agreement. I've already got one. You do? Yep. Get up, get dressed, and get on the bus. That's it? That's it. Moms, gotta love them.